In this video, we're going to discuss the market structure of a monopolistic competition. Monopolistic competition is a market structure with many sellers and many buyers. Firms sell differentiated products, not identical products. Firms are price setters or price searchers, like monopolies. They are not price takers. Firms have market power and will charge a price that is greater than the marginal cost of production. Each firm acts like a mini monopolist for its product, but because there are so many firms producing similar products, the demand for the firm's product is relatively elastic. So in this market structure, there are a lot of substitutes for a firm's product. They're not perfect substitutes, but nevertheless, there are many substitutes available. This is a market structure with no barriers to entry. That implies that long-run economic profits are zero. Above normal or excess profit gets competed away by the entry of new firms in the long run. This market structure is an example of imperfect competition. In this market structure, every firm faces a downward sloping demand curve for its product. Firms maximize profit by producing the quantity of output where marginal revenue equals marginal cost, just like any other market structure. In the long run, firms earn zero economic profit, that is the price will equal average cost. In the long run, the price will exceed the marginal cost of production, and that is an indication that there is a deadweight loss or inefficiency in this market structure. The loss in inefficiency must be weighed against the benefits of product variety. So this market structure gives us variety in consumption, and that is a benefit. The price will also exceed the minimum point on the average cost curve, so firms are not able to take full advantage of economies of scale. Firms have excess capacity. The output is less than the minimum point on the average cost curve. Excess capacity is smaller when the firm's demand curve is more elastic or flatter. A monopoly, on the other hand, would have greater excess capacity given a more relatively inelastic or steeper looking demand curve. There's likely to be a role for advertising in this market structure. Firms attempt to increase demand for its product by differentiating its product from competitors. Monopolistic competition versus co perfect competition. Both market structures have, one, many buyers and sellers. Most, both market structures have no barriers to entry or exit, or freedom of entry or exit. And both market structures, firms earn zero economic profit in the long run. Examples of monopolistic competition include toothpaste, soap, deodorant, laundry detergent, fast food restaurants, coffee shops, bars, etc. Monopolistic competition versus monopoly. Both market structures have firms that face downward sloping demand curves for its product. Both market structures have firms that are price searchers or price setters. Both firms produce where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. Both firms will be in a situation where the price of the product will exceed the marginal cost of production, unlike in perfect competition where price equals marginal cost. Both market structures, there will be an inefficiency or deadweight loss, but as I mentioned before, with monopolistic competition, that inefficiency needs to be weighed against the benefit of getting product variety. When new firms enter a monop monopolistically competitive market, the demand curves facing the existing firms will decrease and shift leftward. This entry of new firms stops when price equals average cost and firms are just earning a normal profit or where economic profit is zero. Here is a diagram of a monopolistically competitive firm. You'll see that it faces a downward sloping demand curve for its product. The fact that this firm's product is not like any other firm's product in the market gives this firm a degree of market power. It can raise the price of its product without losing all its sales. So we'll ask how much to produce. This firm will produce where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. 
So we're finding this intersection right here where the marginal revenue, this blue marginal revenue curve intersects the red marginal cost curve. We're going to go down to the quantity axis and this monopolistically competitive firm will produce six units. So the quantity of output is six. What price to charge? We're going to take the six units of output, plug it into the demand curve, and walk across to the price axis, the dollar axis, and this firm will sell its output at $7 a unit. What is the firm's profit? We can calculate profit as price minus average cost times the quantity of output. So what is average cost at six units of output? Plug this six units of output into this black average total cost equation. So at six units of output, average total cost is $5. So the firm is selling its product at $7 each. It costs the firm $5 to make a product, and it is selling six units. So two times six means that this firm is making a profit of $12. It's just gonna be this area of this rectangle right here. This is a two by six rectangle and that represents the economic profit of the firm. And finally, in long-run equilibrium, long-run equilibrium will look like this. Firm, once again, will be producing where marginal cost equals marginal revenue. In this case, the firm is producing five units of output. It's gonna charge a price by taking this five units of output and plugging it into the demand curve of $5.33. It just so happens in long run equilibrium that price will equal average cost. Firms will make a normal profit. So the average cost curve is gonna be tangent right here at this five units of output. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.